Good afternoon, Abbotsford residents. Today I'm at MLA Michael De Jong's office here in Abbotsford, BC. MLA Michael De Jong told me to my face when Henry Brown, the mayor, knocked homes off the houses, off the mountain, and had his son in front of him collaborating, lifting land, and had our city council in his house, the majority of Abbotsford first. This is the man that threw a legal party on Bell Road to endorse Dave Sudhu. An MLA involved in municipal politics, loading Dave Sudhu. His riding association is Marcus Dalvis, who ran Dave Sudhu and Ross Siemens. Then they helped load Ross Siemens to the mayorship. Greg Toes told me in the election, not knowing what was coming, knowing that Henry Brown controlled the average for police so nobody would charge. He said, We'll support Ross in this election. I'll compensate you for all the signs and material you're out. And then in four years, we'll help you. I went to the Premier, Bill Vanderzam, on what this man was doing as an MLA, using his ticket to hide organized crime that Henry was loading and frauding Abbotsford to get the city chair. But not only that, of what the community police department was doing that Henry sat on boards, carrying threats to drop a lawsuit and videos then used them through the election in front of my house to block me. Then used them through the election to pull me over and threaten me. Abbotsford police were organized gang under Henry Brown. But this man used this tactic to cover Henry Brown with Ed Fast. They were longtime friends. It was Henry's own son that showed me what Mike DeYoung would do under that bloody filthy ticket and how he would crawl to help Henry Brown. Corky Newfield is running for the BC Conservatives on the top of the BC Conservatives board sits Brenda Falk, which was a part of Abbotsford First. She went around leaking who's running for the BC Conservatives, and she's telling the BC United and to Henry Brown that who's coming in to seek the nomination. Corky Newfelt is looking to run here against Mike DeYoung. If Corky Newfelt runs against Mike DeYoung, Abbotsford residents have made it clear that they will support him to kick Mike DeYoung's ass out and give Corky Newfelt the drive that he needs. But he must run here to beat Mike DeYoung up. Pamela Alexis announced yesterday that she's really running. That means there's a snap election. She's in so much trouble from Cooper's Farm allowing a mayor to have his signs endorsed with Dave Sardou and Dave Lowens, Mike's friends, on that farm. Ken, the newspaper, is lightening the blow, who's the pro editor with Henry Brown's best friend. Ken, the pro editor. He even put in the newspaper, the Red Barn's been knocked down, rather than front page. Pamela Alexis allowed 3,000 people to get told no to their face, knowing Mike DeYoung knew it was illegal for Dave Sudhu's sign, Dave Lowen's sign, and Ross sign, Ross Siemens on Polygon's farm. Paid and sponsored by Polygon, your local mayors, for in return we get jobs. These friends were all backdooring Abbotsford. Henry Brown sat on the board and called all the shots of the police department. He called the shots through the newspaper. He needed MLA Mike DeYoung and he needed MP Ed Fast, which were his friends, to cover it from the top authorities. This dirty shit took place and it went out of this office onto local residents and families. Mike DeYoung has wrecked Kevin Falcon's chance of being the leader as a premier in British Columbia. He single-handedly destroyed Kevin Falcon. When Kevin Falcon was here in Abbotsford, Henry Brown went crawling on his hands. And that question was, he told Kevin Falcon, you need to keep Mike, this bag of garbage. This bag of garbage threw a legal party on Bell Road to endorse Dave Sudhu for city council. Where Canadians were being charged and residents of BC were being charged. Mike DeYoung, used his ticket and his leverage that I'm above everybody else. Under a ticket, we can get away with everything. This should have never took place by any MLA on any place. He should have never gathered. Not only did he gather at the coronavirus, he had legal substance from alcohol to narcotics. Then he allowed everybody to drive from there when it was being live streamed, drunk and intoxicated. Parky Newfeld. It's already been spread across Abbotsford. 
that Brenda Fox said, Corky Newfelt, and other constituents that are coming to approach the BC Conservatives. She's leaking that information. Long time ties to Abbotsford First and Mike DeYoung. There's a GoFundMe in Abbotsford, democracy being challenged. Please donate. That there is to bring the body a line. Nobody's above it, a judge said. Nobody can use it, and nobody can bend it. And this bag of shit, Mike DeJong, went and did that under his MLA seat and his ticket. He gathered, he threw a legal party, then he helped load Ross Siemens. But what Greg Toes did, the chamber, he had no business doing that. That was worse than offering a bribe. That was outright, outright, buying officials and loading elections in a democracy. I'm live, ladies and gentlemen, Abbotsford, British Columbia.